Every year in September, fisheries crews set gill and frame nets at various locations on Lake Sakakawea to get an idea of natural fish reproduction, or to see how this year's stocked walleye fingerlings are growing. So at fall reproduction netting, we're, we're just basically looking to see numbers. So we're counting the different species, how many of each species, uh, aging, you know, just are they young of the year, are they adults, are they yearlings. As far as walleyes go, we are measuring them just to see how good their growth is. Uh, so our, our main, main predators, walleye, sauger, and pike, we will measure the young of the year. On the upper end of Lake Sakakawea, walleye natural reproduction looked promising. We didn't stock anywhere near that portion of the lake, so we would consider those to be all natural, uh, natural reproduction on those. They did really well. Fisheries crews also keep track of other natural fish reproduction on the big lake. We did see some sauger, white bass did pretty good, uh, gold eyes, drum. A lot of those species people aren't really interested in, but they're forage for, for walleyes, which are, you know, walleye is what everybody, everybody's after on the lake. And we're, we're interested in all species, not just the walleye. The data collected during the survey is very important for fisheries managers to ensure anglers have walleyes to target for years to come. It helps us to see basically what our walleye population, what the future of the walleye population is going to be as far as the walleyes. For the other species, like I said, they're, they're forage for a lot of our, our predators, our walleyes, our pike. So it just helps us to get an idea how the population is going to look in the future and is there groceries for them out there. The data also helps to determine if and how much stocking is needed to help with walleye year classes. When we see poor year classes, then that's an indicator that we should probably stock, uh, but it's not necessary, necessarily always. I mean, it all depends on if the forage is there to, uh, to sustain them. Like I said, our forage is looking really good right now. Yeah, our future is looking really good. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.